All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula, and we want to know which of the following statements is true for this formula. Now, because we have a linear function, let's take two points and plot them on our graph, so we'll be able to see our linear function better. So let's pick a point when x equals 0 and when w equals 0. All right, so when x equals 0, if we plug that in, we have 0 equals 5 minus 2w. If we add 2w on both sides, we have 2w equals 5. And if we divide 2 on both sides in order to isolate w, we have w equals 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5. All right, and our second point is when w equals 0. So if we plug that in, we have x equals 5 minus 2 times 0. So we have x equals 5. All right, so now let's plot these two points. And because w is a function of x, so w is going to be on the x-axis and x is going to be on the y-axis. All right, so if we take our first point, 2.50, that's going to be right over here. That's going to be our first point. And our second point is going to be 0 up 5. So our second point is going to be right up here. So now let's, com let's connect these two lines so we'll be able to see our linear function better. All right. That's pretty good. All right, so now let's read answer A. If w is less than 10, x is positive. If w is less than 10, that means that x is positive, and that is not exactly true because we do see that x is negative, and then it also becomes positive once it reaches this 2.5. So A is incorrect, and now let's move on to B. All right, if w is greater than negative 2.5, x is negative. Well, negative 2.5 on the w axis is right over here, and if, is, if it is greater than negative 2.5, the answer is saying that x is negative. Well, we see here that x is positive, and then it becomes negative once it reaches this 2.5. Therefore, b is also incorrect, and now let's move on to c. If w is greater than negative 2.5, so right over here, greater than negative 2.5, just like we had, x is positive. Well, we see that x is positive until it reaches again 2.5 and then becomes negative. And therefore, C is also incorrect. And now let's read what answer D states. If W is less than 2.5, so less than 2.5, X is positive. Well, we see that all the values of the X values are positive once it crosses the 2.5 onto the left-hand side. And therefore, D is correct because all the values that are less than 2.5 gives us positive X values. So D is going to be our final answer.